What's going on, y'all? Joseph Griffin here to Tax D. Wolf, and welcome back to Tax D. Wolf Academy. Today, we're going to be talking about five ways that you can actually start your journey with tax and get funded. But before we do that, make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with your, your friend, your investor partner, your family, anybody that you think could benefit from this. Number one, and my favorite strategy is actually to use credit cards. Now, yes, you can get personal credit cards and you can get business credit cards, but we don't really want you touching the personal credit cards because of utilization, right? If you max out a personal credit card, now you're overutilized, your credit score drops, and you can't walk into the bank and get more funding. So I want you to branch off and get over to the business credit side. You can use those cards. It won't affect your personal utilization. And if you, when you get the new card, you're gonna have 0% APR. This is gonna be some of the cheapest money that you can find. Now, when you get that money, don't go buy a Lamborghini with it, right? Go ahead and got, buy a $5,000 tax deed. Go ahead and sell that for $15,000 use the profit, pay off the card, right? Now you got $10,000 left. So awesome strategy to, to fund your tax deed journey. Number two, it's gonna be private money. A lot of people don't know this, but there's actually money everywhere, okay? You have money around you too, despite where you think you are and how much money you don't have, there's actually money all around you. So private money could be family members, colleagues, you know, business partners, just whoever is close to you that you can ask them about a deal, right? If you have the right deal, I want you to really understand this. If you have the right deal, then the money's there. If you have a crap deal, then of course you're not gonna get any money. So if you know how to do your due diligence, you know how to underwrite and present an awesome deal, then that money's gonna come to you. Hell, I'll even invest with you if you bring us the right deal. Number three is gonna be a real estate fund. So you can actually get with an attorney, an SEC attorney, you can go ahead and build a fund, start raising capital, and then use that capital to invest in tax deeds. This is actually what I did when I started out. My first big deal that I did, we raised $400,000 and we went and purchased 3 million in real estate assets. So this is something that almost anybody can do, but you have to be good and you have to really invest in yourself to learn how to connect with people, how to run a fund the right way and also build the right team. Number four, IRA, okay, retirement fund. A lot of people don't know this, but you can convert your IRA into a self-directed IRA. Now, this is an awesome strategy because that money is just sitting there and it's growing at a very small rate. And when the stock market crashes, you're typically losing money. All right, a lot of people lost money this way. But if you convert it to a self-directed IRA, now you can control where that money is going. So you put that into a self-directed IRA account, you get your custodian, and then now you focus on investing in real estate, let's just say multifamily apartment complexes, and that money is gonna continue to rise as the value of that asset keeps going up. Last but not least, number five, and I'm gonna say wholesale because you actually don't need money. A lot of people get into tax deeds so they can flip the tax deeds, but why even buy it if you're just looking to flip it anyway? So instead, all we do is we get that tax deed under contract with the homeowner, we go ahead and assign that contract to an end buyer and we make the equitable interest, the difference in price. So to give you an example, if I find a tax deed for $5,000, I will then go and probably sell it to a builder. Let's just say it's an empty land parcel. I sell it to a builder for $18,000. I get under contract with the homeowner or the landowner for $5,000, sign the contract. Then I assign that contract to the builder for $18,000. I just made $13,000 myself. This is an awesome strategy for you to make money. And if you want to learn about any of the strategies that I just mentioned, all you have to do is click on that link below and book a call with my team so we can point you in the right direction.